Southern right whales spend summer close to Antarctica and migrate north in the winter. Fishing nets, pollution and poaching threaten these whales. The tail is flat as opposed to vertical or upright like fish because they evolved from four-legged mammals. They can be seen off the coasts of Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Chile, Namibia, Mozambique, Peru, Uruguay, Madagascar, New Zealand and South Africa. The total population is around 10,000 which is a lot more than a few hundred seen in the northern hemisphere. Maternal fidelity for feeding and calving is a very strong habit passed on from the cows to the calves. Calves are trained to prepare for the migration to the feeding grounds in Antarctica. A southern right whale, in addition to the calluses on their head, have two blow holes which result in a V-shaped blow and that's a distinct feature. Whales are now migrating further north and can be seen along the Natal coast and go up to Mozambique. As they move further north, they recolonizing historical habitats. Hermanus is the whale watching center in South Africa from the months of June to October. The calluses on their head is typical of these southern right whales. They swim about 9 to 11 kilometers per hour, but they seem a lot faster when you're watching them. do not have teeth but rather have baleen plates. These plates act like a sieve as they hang down from the mouth and act as filters. Females produce a calf every three years. During calving season females don't feed for about three months and are sustained by the rich blubber reserves. Calves are nurtured in the shallow waters of the coastline until the baby is ready to venture into open waters where predators can be found. Predators of these calves include killer whales or orcas and great white sharks. Toxic pollution, plastics in the ocean, vessel collisions, habitat loss and overfishing is depleting the food source for these whales. Mm -hmm. 